This video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. I am an entertainer. The one, the only, a father in the house, baby. Wow! Okay. A fathers began very pissed off, and I'll tell you the reason why. So I've been getting a whole bunch of messages from Lou's followers, okay? And here's their uh, their points, all right? They're like, hey, father, I watched all of Lou's videos. He never mentions your name. He never mentions my name. But he describes me to a T. Okay, so who else is he mentioning? Like, I'll give you an example, right? So Lou put out a video one time. He was like, oh, you know, if I call anything wrong, he was like, forget about it. You guys will break my balls. He goes, but what about that other guy who's uh, naked, you know, in the bathtub and he's playing his guitar? Oh, that buffoon. Who's going to listen to him, right? Okay, who's he talking about? <laughs> what other person on YouTube who talks about AMC goes into the bathtub? Tell me who. Maybe Cassidy one time, Cassidy Campbell, and he only did that because we were talking about it. I said, Cassidy, go get your ass in the bathtub. He laughed, you know, he's my friend. He's my good friend, Cassidy. But besides Cassidy, who else is he talking about? He's talking about the Eighth Father. Okay. Then when the Eighth Father had the protest, remember, Lou destroyed me with that. He made video after video after video saying how terrible of an idea, you know, uh, they're going to infiltrate the, uh, the uh, protest, there's going to be violence. It's going to make us look bad. It's a terrible... Who else is he talking about? <laughs> I, he didn't mention my name, but who else on, on AMC? The topic of AMC was having a protest. It was the A-Father. And let me tell you, I'm starting to regret it because I tried to do the right thing out of respect for you. It was my constitutional right and everyone else's constitutional right to have a protest. And I, I let it go, okay? And I went against a lot of people who respected me. I lost a lot of people's respect because I canceled the protest, but I did it because thousands and thousands of apes were telling me, please, Ape Father, don't do it. Please, you know, they could delist AMC. There could be violence. It could be like another Capitol riot. Please, Ape Father. Even my good friend, the, Maz the Mazalorian, told me not to do it. Okay? Feel for real. I mean, I had like, like really, really good friends of mine that I respect, okay, tremendously telling me not to do it. Joe Vito Sparacino. The strong ape from Florida calls me up, Rich, don't do the protest. I mean, so I listen to the apes, but I'm starting to regret it now. With all this stuff that we're seeing, a AMC is stuck like a dead cat here. That loose talking about cats all the time. It's stuck like a dead cat at 37. It's not moving. We can't get above 40. Maybe I should have had the protest. You know, I'm talking about the awareness event with the big gorilla, but maybe I should go back to the protest because, you know, I feel like I let Lou get the best of me. I really do, you know. I'm just trying to do what's best for the apes, but Lou is pissing me off, all right? And then he makes a recent video, a recent video where this is what, you know, he said, now listen, let me be perfectly clear. Everyone's been breaking my balls about that stupid Sheba that I, I only spent a couple of hundred dollars, okay? I have my life savings at AMC. I'm not selling AMC. I'm holding it with diamond balls of steel to Pluto, but I just spent 200 on Sheba. That's it, 200 lousy dollars. My spare change, it's like a dinner. In other words, instead of me having a steak dinner, I just throw 200 at Sheba. The whole internet broke my balls. I'm a hypocrite, I'm a fake, I'm a traitor. And Lou capitalized on that. Lou knew that. Don't tell me that Lou did not know that every ape was breaking the ape father's balls about that. So Lou made a video, and here's exactly what he said. It was something like, uh, something like, what's going on in AMC World, the video title. He says like this. He goes, you know... A lot of apes are like promoting this thing. I don't want to mention it. At first he goes, I don't want to mention it. But, you know, everybody knows what he was talking about. You know, it's all this hype. And, you know, it's like that guy who says, oh, I love my ape family. I love my ape brothers. I love my ape sisters. But did you check out that new crypto coin? Who else is he talking about? He's talking about the ape father. So I'll tell you what. You want to compromise, Lou fans? Okay. You want to compromise? Here's my, here's my compromise, okay? I won't mention Lou's name no more. How about I say the bald-headed Puerto Rican, okay, who makes videos in parks with squirrels and makes videos about AMC next to police precincts with sirens. Can I do that? <laughs> I won't mention Lou's name no more. After this video, I will not mention Lou. I will not say his name, but I'll say the AMC YouTuber who's got 66,000 subscribers, who's bald-headed in Puerto Rican, and he's a convict who owes 73,000 in restitution and under supervision for three years. All right, that's what I'll do, but I won't say Lou's name. Are you going to be okay with that? Are you
Are you going to be okay with that? I don't think so.